Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, this week we're continuing on through Proverbs chapter 8. Uh, we're looking just at one verse today, Proverbs eight thirteen, And here's our theme. There are some things we should hate. There are some things we should hate. Before I read the passage, I'll tell you a little story. When I was a youth pastor, I had a junior high kid who said, who said uh, I wasn't a pastor then, but said, uh, Kevin, um, I... I'm a Christian now, and I think we should love everybody and everything all the time. And I said, well, there's some things we're supposed to hate. And he, did, he couldn't compute that until we talked and looked at the scriptures. But here's a verse that reminds us some things are worthy of our hate. And here it is. Proverbs 8, 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. I hate pride and arrogance, evil behavior and perverse speech. So there's at least five things right there that our attitude towards them should be hatred because God hates sin. God hates evil. And so here's a couple things we learn from this passage. Number one, revere God above all. The fear of the Lord. A reverence for God. Bowing down before Him, acknowledging that He's sovereign over all. That's our starting point. And then when we stand in the presence of God and His heart fills our heart, we love the things that He loves, which are most things, but we hate the things that He hates. And, and, and if you think about this, it, it really has a spiritual dynamic. In John 10.10, 10, we learn that, that the enemy of our souls, the devil, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus says, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. Have life abundantly. But the enemy wants to steal, kill, and destroy. That breaks the heart of God. God hates that, and we should hate it as well. And so just listen one more time to this passage. And listen to these five things that the wisdom of Proverbs says that our disposition toward them should actually be to hate these things. You are to hate evil. It says, I hate pride and arrogance. I hate evil behavior and perverse speech. We should hate those things in others. And guess what? We should hate those things in ourselves because then we're going to fight against them. So here's my encouragement. As you walk through your day, if you see these things crop up and creep up in your life, or in the life of somebody else. Don't hate that person, don't hate yourself, but hate the sin that is there. And hate the enemy of your soul who has come to steal and kill and destroy. And hold to the hand of the sovereign God. Love everywhere you can, but where you have to hate, in the name of Jesus, hate well. It may sound strange, but that's what we're called to do. Jesus, this is our prayer, that we would love the things you love and love the people you love, but we would hate the things that you hate. And that we would actually hate them effectively and passionately. We'd hate them so much that we would turn away from them and ourselves, repent of those things, and live the way you want us to live. God, help us to walk in your wisdom this day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, God's blessings on you. I always encourage you, be part of the body of Christ. If you have a local church you're part of, go to that church, give there, serve there, love there. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you online or on campus at 9 or 11 this coming Sunday. Blessings on you.